Let's take a look at the data and see what's trending this week for print on demand sellers, what designs are working, what concepts are trending. And then I want to show you how to create these designs as well inside of ChatGPT by simply adding in a photo of the product and a simple prompt. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. Let's start here with the first design trend of the week, which is this resist penguin or the protest penguin. So what we can do is actually upload our picture of the penguin protesting. So our winning design concept that we already know is making money for a print on demand seller and already has demand in the marketplace out in the world. Then we're going to ask ChatGPT to actually regenerate and change the text to say flippers up instead of resist. So I'm gonna send that in as a prompt and then I'm gonna scroll back up here and talk a little bit about this other prompt that we did earlier, which basically this was the winning design. It says support local street cats. This was a bestseller on Etsy and this kind of like feral animal style designs are actually a broad design concept that's doing really well. This is what ChatGPT came back with because I asked it to colorize the design. That's one way that we can actually create unique designs is by adding in our own colors and styles. Then I asked it to add in a retro style background behind the design and this was the final design that came back. Now of course if we wanted to change this to be a mouse instead of a possum we could easily do that. If we wanted to change the the color of the retro sunset or the font style or any other element of this design we easily could so here is the design that ChatGPT came back with this is pretty good i think we could use this on a product right away but it's sufficiently unique enough from the original design now if we want to make this more unique we can add in different elements, we can remove different things, we can change colors, we can add or remove text. And there's so many other things that we can do to this design because we don't want to just look like our competitor and just look exactly like the design that we're pulling inspiration from. We actually wanna create our own unique design and our own unique version like this. So for example, this is another winning design here featuring a bunch of different animals wearing different party hats, wearing glasses, stuff like that. Definitely working well for this seller. So I don't wanna create the exact same design, but if I ask ChatGPT to regenerate this image and then change the animals to different animal types, then it will actually regenerate this, change the animals. And if I wanted to, I could be specific on which animals it changes to. Uh, but I just let ChatGPT decide. Then I said, because this didn't really look right to me, I said basically remove the gum and add balloons. So again, further modifying this design in a way to make it my own. So this is basically the idea. We can find a winning design concept and then modify it to make it our own and then list it on marketplaces to sell. So here's the final design that I ended up for this particular design here. I think it looks pretty good. We have a bunch of different animals holding different balloons, wearing different party hats and wearing glasses. So sufficiently different from the original design. And as I'm scrolling, you can see here, some of these Easter related shirts are absolutely blowing up. The BSR on this is 5,955. And so I thought this would be a good one to recreate here, but you can actually, if you keep scrolling, you can see there's so many other Easter designs that are actually doing really well with really low BSRs, meaning they're selling a lot. So any of these designs are fair game, but I actually liked this one up here. So let's go ahead and again, take a screenshot and actually go over to ChatGPT to regenerate this design in our own unique way. All right, so it was really easy. I just uploaded a screenshot to ChatGPT and then I said, regenerate this design, but with pastel colored bow and glasses. And it did understand what I was asking for, but it actually cut off part of my image and it's on a lighter background. So it's actually kind of hard to see this design here. So what I actually did was I told it to regenerate and make sure nothing's cut off and designed it on a black background this time. So this looks much, much better. Now, first, there's a lesson to learn from this, and it's simple. If you don't get the exact designs and generations and outputs that you're looking for with these tools, just talk to it like a human being and get it to generate what you want. So literally, this wasn't what I wanted, 
and I told it to simply fix it and make it what I wanted. And um, we were able to get a much better design. So second of all, if we wanted to change a specific part of this design without altering other parts, we could simply select this. And let's say we wanted to add some text to this design and I want it to be in this general area. I can go ahead and highlight this area and then I can come down here to the bottom and describe what I'm looking for. So I might say, add the text, Hoppy Easter. And then this should leave the rest of our design exactly like it was, but give us text at the top where we actually painted for our design. So let's go ahead and see what this generates. In the meantime, let's go ahead and do some more product research, see what we can find. Two things really quickly. Make sure you do not create any Gulf of America designs. They're trademarked. You don't want to create any designs like that. When you're creating your Easter designs, make sure that you're also paying attention to the faith niche, Christianity. And these are designs that are going to sell really well during Easter, but also during other holidays like Christmas and throughout the rest of the year. So these are definitely more evergreen designs compared to the Easter bunny and chickens and stuff like that. This design will actually keep selling for you throughout the year. So let's go ahead and look at our ChatGPT generations to see where it's coming along. You can see here that after we asked it to add the text Hoppy Easter to this design, it successfully did it. Looks great, but I actually need this to be a transparent background. So I could have included this in a previous prompt, but I forgot. So I basically just went back to ChatGPT, said remove the background, leave only the design and the text. And here's the final generation that I'm going to save and use. But if we obviously wanted to move the text or change anything about this design, we easily could just create another prompt and change anything we wanted to. Here are a couple more great designs that we could create. This one is basically like a animal holding up a phone, taking a selfie. In this case, it's a cat. In many cases, it's, you know, a possum or a Bigfoot or a dog. And so we could recreate this in our own unique way in ChatGPT. This one here is also at 29,000 BSR. It's selling really well. And it's just a simple design that says chicken game. Don't look at the chicken. And then as soon as you look at the chicken, it says game over. So we could do this with different animals too. We don't have to necessarily play the chicken game. We could turn it into something else. But both of these design concepts are great because they are not trademarked. There's nothing in these designs that we have to necessarily avoid. And we can make them our own. We can change them up. We can put a twist on them. And so let's go ahead and do the chicken game example. All right, check this out. Pretty crazy. So I put in our image of our winning design. I said regenerate, but change the words chicken to capybara and change the chicken in the middle to actually be a capybara. And here's what we got back on the first try. It actually understood what we wanted out of this and uh, it looks great. But I wanted to go ahead and just see what we could accomplish. I said, go ahead, regenerate and have the capybara wearing a monocle and make the background a transparent PNG. So not bad. I don't know if the monocle necessarily makes the design better overall. So what we can do, for example, is click on this design. Then we can go back over to our select tool, go ahead and select a general area. And then I can say, remove the monocle and add sunglasses. Or I can say, have the capybara wearing sunglasses just for extra specificity. So let's go ahead and send that in and see what we get back. Hopefully we get a cool looking capybara wearing sunglasses. All right, drum roll, please. And there it is. We got our capybara wearing sunglasses. First time only took a few seconds to regenerate this. And it's because we used the select tool to actually paint over a specific area. And then it keeps the rest of the design the same, or at least it should and then it will actually modify that specific area. So definitely liking how this design turned out and the background is transparent, but you can see here that the original design was very different from what we're working with here. But I would say that this has a high chance of success in the marketplace, whether we're selling on Etsy, Amazon merch, TikTok shop, or our own Shopify website, 
I think this could do well. And we could simply sell the actual digital PNG download for this design as well. So a lot of students that I work with actually upload their digital file for download and sell it directly. And then they also will put that file on physical products like t-shirts and sell those t-shirts as well. So if you want a tutorial on how to actually sell these as digital downloads, let me know in the comments below. Let's jump back over here and right away again, seeing even more Easter designs, just so many different concepts that you could run with for Easter. And so definitely get your Easter designs up sooner rather than later so that you can get in on this big surge of sales. All right, I'm seeing another design here that's a samurai cat and it's kind of in a specific style. So we could recreate this one. It's at 42,000 or 45,000 BSR, apologies. And uh, it's selling for $20 right now for the standard t-shirt. So let's go ahead and recreate this design. And instead of using a cat, let's go ahead and use another dog that's trending right now or another cat breed that's trending. So maybe we want to do Frenchies, French Bulldogs, and we're gonna make a French Bulldog Samurai in this same style. All right, let's do it. The future is looking bright for this design. And I say that because it actually made him wearing sunglasses. A uh, couple issues with this design, he's wearing sunglasses and the sword uh, definitely looks like it was bent in battle or something like that. Like he'd been through some crazy combat and uh, he probably walked out, you know, alive on the other side, but um, his sword looks like it got a little damaged along the way. So um, again, this was our original. And then I asked it to basically keep the style the same, uh, regenerate with the same style, but change the cat to be a French bulldog. And what happened is it actually remembered our previous prompt about adding sunglasses and it got confused and actually put the sunglasses in this design as well. So I actually kind of like how this looks. I basically wanted to fix the sword. So what I did was I went to the select tool and I drew over this area and then I said, large samurai sword and it actually regenerated with a much better generation the second time around so now it actually looks like a proper sword he still has his sunglasses on so i basically asked ChatGPT to remove the sunglasses and make the background transparent and this was the design that it came back with so i don't necessarily love this design more but i just wanted to show you you know what you can do in terms of removing sunglasses, adding different elements, changing different elements on the actual image, whether you use select or whether you just simply prompt chat GPT simply down here in the prompt box. But when it comes to actually making money with these designs, there are a couple options. We can sell them as a digital download and let people basically just download them and use them or we can basically team up with Printify and sell something like a mug. And basically we'll be able to sell our designs on physical products. So this mug costs about $5. And uh, if we sell it for around 15, then we can keep the difference in profit. So basically we create our design, we upload it to Printify. And then as soon as we make a sale on Etsy or Shopify or Amazon, we simply have Printify create the product with our art and then ship it out to the customer. Then we don't have to deal with anything else. So it's a pretty passive way to actually scale up these designs. And I can tell you from someone that's been doing this for over five years, it's never been a better time to actually sell print on demand products. So I'll put the link for Printify in the video description and it is free to join. You don't need to pay anything to be a member. You only pay once you actually sell a product and then of course the customer is going to be sending you money and you'll be keeping the profit so go ahead and check that out if you want to sell physical products and uh, otherwise i'm going to go ahead and go through some more designs here as i'm scrolling uh, you can see several different designs that are based in nature popping up like wildlife vintage forest t-shirts um, I'm seeing here more animals eating ramen noodles and it's in that kind of like Japanese anime style. Here we have a design trend that uh, the Foxtrot Delta Tango is uh, 
definitely trending right now. So um, that one's definitely going around and not too hard to actually create that design. Uh, I'm worried that the word resist might be trademarked or copyrighted. So let's keep going here. We do have Earth Day. Uh, I like this design here. It says go planet. It's your Earth Day. And the BSR is a 61,000 and dropping. Definitely some great design options in here, guys. These are all designs selling on Amazon, but you could take these concepts and apply them to many different marketplaces because if there's demand on Amazon, then there's going to be demand in other places as well, like, you know, on Facebook, on TikTok, Etsy, etc. Hope this was helpful for you guys. If you want to join the free Facebook group, I'll have some prompts and some more tutorials and case studies that I don't share here on YouTube inside of that free Facebook group. And all the links for today's videos are going to be in the video description. And finally, if you would like a one on one strategy call with myself where we can actually dive into your business and take a look at what you're doing, maybe talk about different AI strategies that you could implement to make more money or just help you get started and help you get a game plan going. There's a link in the video description where you can schedule a Zoom call and I would love to help you in any way that I can. Otherwise, hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Hope you create something awesome and I'll see you in the next video.